Welcome to How We Grow, an essential playbook to grow and scale your vacation rental business with advice and insights from the best in the biz with your host, Linnell Gordon. Welcome to the Vacation Rental Show. I'm Linnell Gordon, your host, and I am so excited today to have Lisa Stinnett of Inhabit. Inhabit is doing some really cool and unique things. I think it's really important that people understand what's happening. We so rarely have people talk about what Inhabit is doing. And so who better to tell us what's happening in Inhabit than Lisa? So Lisa has overseen the growth of Inhabit since its uh, residential and vacation prop tech portfolio. That's the 2015-16. She led the acquisition, the development, and the integration of more than 30 technologies into Inhabit rapidly growing the portfolio. And thank you for joining me today, Lisa. Thanks, Matt. I'm so excited to be on the show today. Before we dive in, can you give the property managers listening a brief overview of who Inhabit is and the products that you have in the market that my guest and my audience might be familiar with? Sure. So I think the easiest way to do that is to say that We have go-to-market motions in residential, so think multifamily, and then in the vacation space, which I think most of our listeners will be aware of. But the way to think about our offerings are we have everything from the property management system, which includes the accounting and operations, to leasing and marketing, to compliance and screening, and also payments and insurance. So I think for us, having the comprehensive ecosystem has definitely been part of our strategy since the inception of Inhabit, and we're growing that ecosystem more every day. In addition to that, we're seeing more and more crossover from the residential products to the vacation space, which is super exciting for us. That's really cool. I think that makes it very unique. For people who aren't familiar with Inhabit, what are some of the products that they might be familiar with? So I think Streamline is very well known for us. Live Res, Rental Guardian, Lindbrook, and Blue Tent are some of our best known products. So I see a lot of rumors. There's a lot of rumors out there. And I see a lot in the market about a new product that's come out called Streamline One. How does that differ from the Streamline software that's been on the market before? And can you tell me what's behind Streamline One? Sure. Yeah, when we were bringing together parts of the ecosystem, our customers were asking us, how can you make this simpler for us? You have multiple products, and what can we do at Inhabit to help them make it easier? So think one invoice, one contract, one customer service or account management contact. And those are the type of things that we've been working very hard on so that Streamline One really is that singular offering to our customers that want that. Now, that doesn't mean they have to take all of our products. We definitely believe in choice. And we believe if you only are interested in Streamline and not the other things, or if you're only interested in Rental Guardian and not our other offerings, then it's up to us to maybe convince you differently. But that's fine with us. We want to be a leader in the space with the best products, but we also want to make sure that our customers retain the ability to choose what is best for them. I love that because you guys listening out there, you've heard me talk about my unicorn and rainbow story over and over because that's what I thought when I first heard what Inhabit was doing in the industry when I was with LSI Tools and the fact that people can come in and they can say, okay, I want to cherry pick what I want because look, the one thing people had been asking for for all those years from LSI was, can I have one product? I just want one product that does everything. But the fact of the matter is one product never can do everything. That's the reason LSI tools existed. So what you've done here, and I think you probably have more third-party integrations than anyone else in the industry. And I think it's because you really bought into providing your customers with choices to build their business stronger and not to tell them that this is the little pigeonhole we want you in. So Inhabit has been busy acquiring products over the last several years. And my company, LSI, was one of those acquisitions. Can you talk to me about your strategy behind these acquisitions? Sure. So in the early days, in order to build out the ecosystem, we did not have the capability to build product. So we had to buy it. The good news about buying it was we could also buy the industry leaders. 
and the best products out there. And so that was very good for us to build that foundation with those best products. Over time, we have been able to evolve those products ourselves, but also build our own product. And so I think that is a great part of our story that has shifted probably around 2020, 2021. We started building some of our own product and we're doing very well with that. So now we can evolve product, but also build product. And so we've only done one acquisition a year since 2020. We can always do more, but we definitely have a choice now if we need a product, whether we buy or build it. So you've grown significantly since you started. And How many developers do you have right now working on our products? We have several hundred developers. And I think that is the key to this, is that we have really grown our R&D part of our organization. And we've spent a lot of focus on it. And Ramon Casillas, our chief technology officer, spends a lot of time with his team working with the developers in all the divisions to make sure that we're also leveraging technology across multiple divisions, which gives us a lot of ability to bring better technology to all facets of our business. So tell me some of the things that you guys are doing with innovation. I know you're doing something called Mobile Wallet, the new OTA integrations you've got. You've got a brand new platform for websites and a new PayPal. Tell me a little bit about what you've got there going on. Yeah. So, I mean, We are definitely making sure that all of our product is following an evolution. So if you think about a website, we've always had website products, but we're making sure that those are getting up off to the latest and greatest technology to help support our customers. We've always had things like payments, for example. We were adding features like buy now, pay later, and mobile wallet to ensure that we're on the cutting edge of what the payments technology needs to do. So I think those are all great examples of the evolution of what we're doing in the space. Built by property managers for property managers. Streamline is a powerful software that gives managers enterprise level capabilities to drive more revenue and improve operational efficiency. Migrating to Streamline allows property managers to gain functionality while reducing the need for multiple vendors, improving flow by logging into a single system and reducing redundant technology costs. With Streamline, property managers achieve revenue lifts by leveraging our fully fledged communication center, reservations quoting system, revenue management tools, homeowner acquisition CRM, and powerful direct OTA connections. Streamline also has industry-leading trust accounting and report capabilities to give you clarity in an overall company performance. Learn more about Streamline Vacation Rental Software at StreamlineVRS.com. I've been asked many times over the past three months about R&D and are we doing new technology and inhabit? And that answer is totally yes. I haven't actually come out and told anybody all the new kinds of things that we're doing because that's just not my platform here. We want to talk to property managers about how to help them grow their business. And I know something really cool is that we have a variety of products that have been wildly successful with the long-term rentals that were not previously available to vacation rentals. Are you bringing those crossover products from residential to vacation? And are there similar problems we have on both sides? Absolutely. And that's where our thesis of why we have been in both government markets is really coming to fruition. So if you back up back to when we got in the vacation space, we were already in the residential space. But we saw that as the vacation industry grew and evolved, that they would need very similar solutions to what we had in the residential space. And we're seeing that come to fruition now. And so it's very exciting for me to really see our thesis play out and us to be on the leading edge of being able to offer those products because while they may not be completely identical to the residential version of the product and there may be tweaks, they are very similar. And we also have years of use of these products. So these are not products that are untested, unproven. These are products that our customers on the residential side have been using for years. And I want to say something else to that. Right now, you've conducted on the residential side over 6 million employment screens. You're doing employee screenings. And you know all the federal and the state and the local laws and all the things that help protect property managers, their owners, property owners, and their guests. And I love the fact that you're bringing that into the vacation rental side. 
I hear we have a call center coming soon. Tell me about that. Yes. So that's a super exciting one for me because I know how hard it is for property managers to make sure that every call gets answered in a timely manner and that people are getting assistance in the way that they need to, especially when they're on vacation and they don't want to have a a difficult situation on their vacation. So our leasing is basically the ability to get a 24-7 call center in English and Spanish And there's also AI incorporated to alleviate some of the simple call volume. We're not trying to replace the human touch, but definitely after hours on a simple call, and I don't know how you are about this, but if I just need to know where the remote is or where the thermostat is, I don't necessarily want to have to talk to somebody for a long time. I just need a simple answer. And so I think our technologies really help with that and alleviate some of those issues that can happen. You know... I love hearing you talk about this. The reason that I I love hearing that is because when I first was inquired by Inhabit, I wondered how the people that were running the company would understand vacation rentals because it's so unique. But I remember the first time I ever heard you in a board meeting that we were in and you were throwing ideas out there left and right. And I thought, holy cow, this is someone who really understands the industry. So I just want to say thank you for taking the time to understand vacation rentals on this level, because I can see in the way that we're pulling over the residential into the vacation rentals that you guys on the back end, not only do the ground workers understand it, the people that are doing the technology, but you guys who are running the company understand it. Well, absolutely. I mean, for years, we've listened to people like you and Brady Stump and others in the industry, you know, that have really helped us understand what people want. And we continue to listen to our customers and have tabs and user conferences. And I think that is just an essential part of being a growing company is that you do not lose touch with your roots and that you don't lose touch with the customers who have made you so successful. And that is our intent is that we continue to do that in every way we possibly can so that they are helping us. You know, we're talking about these residential solutions. Customers are asking us for them. That's how we know it's time for them is that we had this thesis, but we're not big on trying to force an industry or force a group of people to take something that they're not ready for or that they don't understand. They are asking us now, well, hey, do you have something that will solve this problem? And we're realizing, yes, we do. They're on the residential side. So for us, it's continuously listening to those customers and making sure that we don't lose touch. I'll tell you, one of the things about the call center that I heard, we have a lot that I heard that I know vacation rental managers are going to love was the fact that, you know, we have a lot of Spanish. They've always asked me for Spanish speaking from the very beginning. When I first started LSI, we were doing the maintenance piece. So that's really important. But the really cool thing is that there's this thing you guys have called burstable support, which means that on heavy turn days or after hours, we're available 24-7. We used to have call centers that were available up to 11 o'clock at night, but having it 24-7 is, you know, it's obviously something you had on the residential side, but I think it's so needed on the property management side. Let me ask you about uncovering more areas that we're asking for in the property management side. Can you tell me some of the other things that the property managers are asked for that we're providing? Sure. Learning management is a great one. So we know that training and onboarding is a challenge always. And so our learning management software that we've used in residential is easy to digest and mobile friendly. It's customizable, the content. And so for us, being able to bring that over to the vacation side to be able to help with onboarding and training has been very exciting for us. And I think that, you know, that's something that you can buy standalone, again, talking about choice, or you can actually have it as part of Streamline One. So I think when we talk about these different solutions, it's either or. You can either buy it as a standalone solution or it can be part of one of our PMS ecosystems. So... Is that just a dashboard that shows where employees are progressing? Do you have to create all that content yourself? Yeah, that's definitely something that we do both of. So we can customize it with a property manager, but there's also some content in there. Let's say you are using Streamline. There's content in there that can be specific to Streamline and help people with that. So I think that depending on what your needs are, we can definitely customize that. And I definitely see this as one of the products that we will face an evolution with as we learn more about how our customers want to use it, as we introduce it to this industry, 
and people give us feedback on how they want to utilize it, I think that content will grow and change. I'd love to see it for property managers. I'd love to see it like a learning platform where homeowners can log in and learn about what the property manager is doing and how to have a better property. I mean, there's so many pieces here that have been missing from learning management in the vacation rental side, in my opinion, just saying. So I love that it's personalized and customized. I feel like that there's a gap that a lot of PMCs haven't had yet to consider or didn't think they could solve. A lot of the training that we have is surface level. It doesn't get into things like maintenance or customer service. So it seems really useful and especially if it's short and you could do it on the go. But you mentioned earlier to me something about utility management, like document management. Yeah, so it's actually two separate products. So there's utility billing and document management. And so you were close. But the document management is basically trying to centralize all the different types of documents that a property manager needs to keep track of. So think about owner agreements, credit card, authorization forms, insurance, tax forms. And so it really gives you a secure place to store all those documents and centralize them into one place. And so I think that's something that maybe some of the PMCs are doing a great job with now. And then some of them just haven't really thought about how do I make this easier? How do I centralize all this document storage? The utility billing is very interesting. So think about detecting leaks and water left on, especially in a vacation unit. I think this could be even larger than it is in the residential space where somebody's probably there all the time and would catch something like that easier. On the vacation side, you know, those rentals have uh, periods of time where there's no one in them. And so our technology allows those leaks to be detected. And last year, we saved customers over 144 million gallons of water from that software technology. So I think that that's an example of a product that I think does very well in residential, but could even be more important in the vacation industry. So guys, I just want to reiterate, as you listen to that, we have offerings in the industry for some of these things. I don't know that that's an offering right now, but think about having one system that would do all these things. That's what you guys have been asking me for for the past 22 years. Lisa, is there anything else that you can tell us about other ways that Inhabit is helping property managers to grow? Yeah, I would say that it is just us being out there and talking to customers. I can't, I know we talked about this a little earlier, but this is very important to us to get feedback, to have the opportunity to talk to our customers and get feedback directly. So I would say if you're not one of our customers, we would love to hear from you about things that you're challenged with that you would like to see. If you are a customer, same thing. We want to hear about those things. And as we put these puzzle pieces together, you know, we may already have solutions that would help and you may not realize it and we may not realize you need it. And so I think just having those open discussions of dialogue to help us for our future roadmap plans, but also to make sure and ensure that we're not missing opportunities today of things we could already be helping you with. So if property managers want to give you feedback, either about our products or about new innovation that they'd like to see, how would they get in touch? I think that it would be great if they could just email me. You know, I may not be able to respond to all of them, depending on how many people email me, but I want to be on the forefront of making sure that I see those things and that I'm well-educated about them. And then also being able to share them with our executive team in meetings and sort of sort through them and prioritize them. And then probably have subsequent calls with members of our team If you have a contact on our team that you feel comfortable with, then that's also a great way to get your feedback in and make sure that it gets sent to us. Because for us, that is the most important piece is that we do not want to be out of touch with what is happening on a day-to-day basis. The industry is changing. Different things are coming up daily. We do everything we can, but there's a lot going on. And so for us to have that direct line of communication with our customers is extremely important. So guys, I just want to say, when I said I was excited to have Lisa on, you've heard her speak. She is a down-to-earth, remarkably brilliant woman who just enjoys her. She's very good at her job, guys. And you heard she has a heart for this industry, and she has a heart for our customers. She cares what happens. So 
I love the fact that all of the rumors out there that have talked about how corporate we are, you should be in these meetings where people are just talking about how much they love the industry, how much they care, and how much they want to make a difference in the lives of you guys who are growing your property management companies. Lisa, thank you for coming. I really appreciate you taking the time to do that. And guys, reach out. Reach out if you have any questions and you want to hear more about what's happening or if you have any questions about what Lisa's saying. And especially you guys who do both long-term and short-term rentals, see how technology can be easier for you guys. Thanks, Lisa. Is there anything else you want to say? I don't want to cut you off. No, no, thank you, Linnell. I just really appreciate you and, you know, all the input that you and others like you that have been in the industry for decades have given to us and helped make us a success. So we really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. The email address where you can email Lisa is CEO at Inhabit.com. This episode of How We Grow is brought to you by Streamline. To find out more about how Streamline can help grow your vacation rental business, visit StreamlineVRS.com. Make sure to search for How We Grow in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, or anywhere else podcasts are found and hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. On behalf of the team here at Inhabit, thanks for listening.